Can I really make a decent living teaching English? Let's find out. Hi everyone, it's Sandra Petrick here from My Midlife Pivot. Today, I'm trying a new recording location. I'm here on my deck at my office in Chiang Mai, but I am battling the sun and the birds, so we'll see how it goes for a recording location. My plan is to share with you an update of all the things I've been exploring for the options of teaching English as a native speaker and to see if I can make a decent living doing it. But before we get started, there's two quick reminders that I wanna share with you. The first one is that the easiest way to follow along with my 100 day pivot is to hit the subscribe button below. And two, as always, I'll put the websites and more information about today's episode up on my resource page so you don't have to worry about writing down a bunch of notes. I'll give you the link at the end and you can just head over there and check everything out. So let's get started. If you recall on day one, I decided the key to demonstrating my writing and marketing skills was to build a solid social media presence. And although I know this work will help me land marketing and writing gigs, it might be months and months before that happened. So back on day two, the question I had was, what can I do right now to get revenue flowing? Well, since I've spent the last two years developing an online English learning app and researching effective learning techniques, I realized that maybe, just maybe, I could teach English. But like everything in Thailand, it's not quite a straightforward path. The government requires you to have a degree to be able to teach English, and I only have a couple of diplomas, so that's out. Plus, honestly, the idea of spending my day in a classroom, it just fills me with dread. I mean, that is not my dream or why I moved to Thailand. So I think about it some more, and I know others are teaching online, but I think they're making like 10 bucks an hour. So that's gonna take me a long time to be able to pay rent. Then I remember, as a part of my ongoing polyglot research, okay, for those who are wondering what a polyglot is, it's someone who speaks up four or more languages. So back to my polyglots. I'm on polyglot Ollie Richards mailing list and recently I've seen a series of emails with a subject line about becoming an online teacher. So I head over to my inbox and sure enough, there's a seven day email series. I binge read the whole thing. It's very, very encouraging. Basically, Ollie is just starting to promote his new online school to teach native speakers how to use their language skills to make real income through online teaching. No degree required. So he has my full attention. But as I feared, he notes that many schools are only paying the teachers like 10 bucks an hour. But Ollie says there is a market for niche language skills which means helping people master the words and phrases that are most important in their lives, such as their career or maybe their hobby. He uses an example of a scientist who offers her English services to chemists so they can be more comfortable in the laboratory. And the best part is, he says, the students do not care about your education. The only criteria is that you can help them improve their English in this one area and they're willing to pay top dollar. So I start researching and I check out preplay.com. I get pretty excited. I spend like a couple of hours, I go and look to see how it works, I see the payment structure and the commissions, I look at some of the profiles, I think about some of the niches I could teach, and I think, wow, I'm ready to apply. So I click on the application button, only to learn the first thing I need to do is upload my teaching certificate. Shit, that was not clear in the information they provided. So that leaves me two options. I could take a teaching English as a second language program. I've seen lots of schools here in Thailand, but it's like 200 hours in the classroom. And that's gonna take me a couple of months and I need something right now. Or as Ollie suggests, I could check out a site with a different type of standard. So something like italki. So I head over there to check it out. 
The great news is italki has both professional teachers and community teachers, which means those of us with more, more informal training can still teach conversation skills. Italki's structure also seems better. It's only 15% commission, and it seems really straightforward. The main requirement is I have to record a one to three minute video promoting myself uh, so they can confirm I can use the language and have a conversation with someone. So once I submit that, they tell you within 10 days if they accept you. And if they do, they give you another 10 days to do some online system learning. You gotta do a Wi-Fi check and some hardware. And when you have that all done, you're ready to start promoting your language skills. So over the next few days, I think about what it is I wanna offer. And finally, on day seven, I have a plan. I jump back on italki and I check out the competition that are offering English skills for sales and marketing. There are not many that are doing English for sales, and the few they are, they're not doing many classes. But the teachers that are offering marketing are doing quite a bit better. And I realize that I have a unique skill set, so I could blend those two offerings together and come up with something completely unique. So I start writing my script for the sales and marketing. And then I run through it a couple of times in practice. For an hour or so, I think that I'm ready to take my final take, but the sun is setting, the birds are coming in to roost, and the chirping, oh my God, it's deafening in my office. So I definitely have to wait till day eight to do the recording. So on day eight, the first thing I do is I come down to finish my video on the application. And I think, well, I'll start by watching the video so I can see how it's, how it's going. Immediately, I know it's all wrong. I've made a huge, huge mistake. I was describing my experience by talking about developing my English app. And I realized that italki is not going to approve a video. That sounds like I could possibly be competition for them. Oh, good thing I caught that huge blunder. So I rewrite the entire script and this time talking about researching polyglots and my learning methods, and I don't say anything about the app. Oh, it's so much better. I record it after only a few takes, and then I jump online to finish my application. Okay, I'll tell you, I did get a bit frustrated in this part because I lost that part of my application twice. So my tip for you is if you're gonna do an application is you write it out in a Word document and then cut and paste it into the application to avoid this painful step of having to rewrite because you can't save. Anyways, by the end of day eight, I have it submitted and now I just have to wait for the approval. I'll update you as soon as I hear from them. But in the meantime, if you are considering teaching English online yourself, be sure to head over to mymidlifepivot.com and I've added all the links and extra resources of what I've been talking about here today. So you can check that all out. So thanks for watching.